So what have we got on the channel today? We've got sausage rolls with a twist. Easy. So let's get on with the recipe. And for your recipe, you want 170 grams of sausage meat. And into that sausage meat, all you need to do is put some cheese in. You can put what you like in, really. And all we need to do is just mix that around so it make it all nice and smooth. So it's all blended in nicely. Now, I would have added Parmesan into this, but unfortunately, I haven't got any Parmesan. So just remember that. Add some Parmesan in, and that'll give it a bit more flavour than this. And let's put some more in. There you go. And that's your filling. Now, we're going to be making four sausage rolls. So the next thing you need is pastry. Now, these are five-inch squares. They're around about three millimetres thick. And we'll just lay them on the top here. Can't be any simpler than that, can it? Get some, some egg wash. Now, this egg wash is one egg and a little bit of water. So all we do is a bit of egg down the side. Now, you can roll your sausage meat or you can pipe it. Well, I'm actually going to pipe mine. Now, this is the right amount to cover these. Pipe them straight across. Like that. Get a bit more, just put it in. You know, don't worry about it. Because this is the exact right amount. So, never worry about having a bit extra. So, if you've made sausage rolls before, you know exactly where I'm going. All we'll do is fold these over. I'll turn them around that way. Fold them over and just press down the edge. Make sure you get it nice and neat. Once again on this side. Fold it over. Now to make it look a bit more prettier than just a straightforward sausage roll, get yourself a pair of scissors. Now I'm sort of doing this back to front really. And just <laughs> take it over your scissors and just snip the edges like this. Now you can guess in a factory they'd be doing this a little bit different to this. But they do this in a factory as well. They snip the edges. But obviously not with the scissors. This would most likely be with a million pound machine. So the question is, how are we going to know the difference between that and a, another sausage roll? We're going to have to put like a little C on the top, aren't we? So also because you've got to put a little air hole in, we'll just do a little C on the top like this. So we know it's cheese. So get yourself a tray. Now onto that, we're going to put, put in some baking paper or baking parchment and just put our sausage rolls on top. Wash the tops over with egg wash to make them look pretty. And it's that simple. Now we're going to rest in these for 20 minutes. That's just to let the paste recover because originally the pastry would have been dull. So it's, it's given that like recovery area. And then once we've done that, we're going to be baking them in the oven at an oven temperature of 200 Celsius for around about 20 to 25 minutes, give or take. It could take 30, but you want them to come out nice and golden brown. So we've just got these out of the oven, so let's have a look inside of this sausage roll and see what it looks like. You can't see much of the cheese, can you? Well, I wouldn't worry too much about it. I am almost thinking that that has definitely got the cheese in it because it looks as though it has. <laughs> Would be better with Parmesan in, so don't forget to add Parmesan in as well and you'll get a better flavor. But there you go, folks. Wasn't that nice and easy? It's a straightforward, little, easy sausage roll. And I think every Tom, Dick and Granny can do sausage rolls like this. It doesn't take much working out. I'm going to say it's much better to buy your pastry in than spend hours making it. You can make it if you want. I am going to do a couple of recipes which are half the speed. So you can make it at home and you won't have to do much work. We'll cover that in another video. And if you like this type of content, please subscribe and please share. And we'll see you again very shortly on the Crazy Baker channel. Laters!